DJ Wado, live at Jai Rockin'. We are here with Mars. Yes. What's going on? Not much. It's good to have you here. <laughs> yes, thank you for having me here. Yes, it's good, it's good, it's good. <clears throat> so, um, I think, uh, so let me ask you a fan question. Uh-oh. This is me as a fan. So, I start hearing your name tossed around. I think the first person I heard talking about you was Thizzle. Yes. And then I start hearing you on all these projects and I'm just like, who is this person? Her voice is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. So I guess that's my first question is who is Mars? Who is Mars? Yeah. Man. <laughs> it's a complex question. Huh? It is. You had like, to think about it for a minute. How far back you want me to go? <laughs> Gosh. Well, <sighs> musically, Mars, um, I think, I don't know. I started doing music um, I want to say when I was born into it, it was okay. like, it was like learning a language. So you was like three months old. You couldn't even talk, but you was basically, basically, doing something. that's exactly how it was. Like my father was in a duop group and my mom was, um, the, uh, worship coordinator in our church. And oh she yeah. You did, had no choice. She did backup for like a couple of Christian artists and stuff. And so. It was like learning English and learning how to sing. Like, it was just right there. I didn't learn Spanish, but I'm bilingual with singing in yeah, English. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's where it came from. And then my brothers and everybody, like, we all did music. It was very vast, like, art styles and genres that we listened to sure. and all of the above. And um, I moved down south. When I was okay. about 18 years old. Okay, where where at down south? Uh, North Carolina. North Carolina. Yes, yeah, Charlotte, North, North Carolina. Carolina. Yes. So you're born in New York? <laughs> yes, I'm born, born in New York. In, New York. in okay. the Bronx. In the Bronx. Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. And then I moved to North Carolina. Um, I was about 18 years old, and I met Aswan from Paper Tonks. Okay. And uh, <laughs> I bumped into him. You know his character, like you know. But he was just like, girl, what's your name? And I was just like... Like, I told him my name, and he's just like, I'm going to call you Mars. So, <laughs> ever since then, it was like, I mean, I've been called Mars, like, over 10 years now. Wow. Like, it's, it's not a so stage just stuck, name. Just, yeah. just... It was just a nickname. It's not a stage name. It's not like I woke up one morning, and I'm like, I'm going to be an artist, and I'm going to call my name Mars. Like, no. It was, wow. it's an actual nickname. Like, I think, like, my parents are the only people that don't call me Mars. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's crazy. weird. But, um... So, just some random... Yeah, like, I just met him, and, like, like we knew mutual people. Anyways, he ended up, like, keeping me under his wing. Like, he had this whole singing in the street type okay. of thing. Like, and it was, like, every Saturday, and it was very improv. So I did a lot of improv singing. And, um, and you know, like, he was teaching me how to write, you know, like, just basically fine-tuning what was already there. Sure. And, um, and then I met a bunch of hippies, and... I lived with them, and so, like, I got introduced to a vast, uh, like, singer-songwriter, very acoustic, from, like, Jack Johnson to, like, Ben Harper and all stuff. And So how did you go from that to Thizzle? Okay, okay, okay. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> so, long story short, should I say uh, short story long? Um, we go back, I go back to New York, and my brother is in music yep. and um he was producing and i think he, you gotta tell everybody who your brother is though <laughs> my brother is manny ferrer who was in double edge and was also spiritual warrior at one point in his life so he's always done music and he actually met my husband and they were friends he my husband did not even know i exist like wow. and i never came up in conversations at all and I came back, and we met, we did music, and we got married, and we, my husband's a hip-hop head. I'm totally not. Like, I, I grew up on hip-hop, because I grew up in the Bronx, sure. but I, I'm just, I strayed away from it, and uh, we tried to create something, like, you know, make our two worlds collide, and it was terrible, like, oh. at first, it was the worst thing you ever heard, like... <laughs> I was like, what is going on here? And then, like, we just couldn't make music together. Like, we were just clashing. Like, it was bad. And then, eventually, I think we are about to get married, and I did this one song, and it just clicked. Just clicked. And it was just like, that's it. That's, that's the it. lane that we're going to go in. And it just progressed from there. We just started making songs, making songs, making songs. And then, finally, I had all these songs, and I never 
share them with anybody. No fans, no nothing. nothing. It was just just you and your husband. Just it. And running my around brother, the house with your socks on, listening to this music. Basically. And so finally, we're like, you know what? Let's just pick the five best that we got, throw them on a CD, and just just let it out, just for our sanity. And we did it. And uh, we got in contact with Scouts Honor, and they did our cover for yep. uh, Grave Clothes and Wedding Garments. And they're amazing. So we worked with them. And he, Adam, the artist, he just loved it. And he did a video by himself. Nobody told him nothing. And he did a video with him during the cover of the album. Mm. And had my song, one of the songs on the EP, uh, Let Me Go, playing in the background. Then a freak chance, Medina, Alex Medina. Yep. And he is, you know, he's the art director. So he's like checking out, I guess, other artists. I don't know. I mean, he's trying to steal Adam's stuff. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, checking out his competition. <laughs> and he saw the video and he heard the song and he was like, I need to find this girl. Mm. So he finds me on Twitter with zero followers. Sure. Following a whole mess of people. Sure. Though. <laughs> and uh, it turns out that he knew my husband, like, pre-reach, like, Truth days or truce. truce. I don't even yeah. know. I wasn't yep. there. I was with hippies. But he was, uh, they like actually produced on the same album together. And so they kind of rekindled their romance. And um, we, uh, it just progressed from there. Then Alex and Juice, uh, Alex Hitchens, they produced a track, which is incredible, which is the new single that I just dropped. And they sent it to me, and they were like, you know, we were looking for an artist like you, like, that sings and has a unique voice and unique sound, and, you know, what do you think? And so they sent it to me, no song structure, just just a plain track. And the actual track, the email file was called Incredible. Mm. So I was just messing around. I actually wrote the chorus right there, and then I sent them, like, a voice note, like, so bootleg. So I did back, and then they're like, yes, and then we just went back and forth. That track took about eight months to do wow. just going back and forth and like critiquing it and just making it to the best level that we can possibly make it sure. you know and then juice sent it to thistle and that's when thistle comes that's in, what this comes <laughs> yes. in. And then this will show it to JR. And then this will calls. And he's like, yo, Mars, man. Because <laughs> like, that's how this will sound in my head. So I'm just going to use that voice. <laughs> and he's like, yo, Mars, man. You're so, you're so good and all this stuff and all this praise, or whatever. And he's like, I need to get you on my track. Like, I'm coming out with an album. It's called From the King. Here's drag. And whatever. So he sends me this hook. And I'm like, oh, man, it's the longest hook of my life. Like, <laughs> So, I re actually, this is, the feature I did for this was the last feature that came out this year. Okay. But it was actually the first, first one. feature I've ever done. Wow. So, it's a little fun fact for you. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. So, then I did the, the this uh, feature. And then, from there, I did Beautiful Eulogy and Andy, obviously. Sure. Yeah. And uh, Social Club and yep. uh, Spazzy Rocket. And it just, it just kept, like escalating from escalating. there and i'm like man i don't know but i'm just gonna do it <laughs> so how, how, how is it for you because you have all these musical influences cultural influences existing in this quote-unquote hip-hop world i know it's just uh i guess the uh, i guess the comment i get the most is that it's a breath of fresh air yeah. you know and and I can see that. Like, I feel like even uh, secular hip hop, like everything pretty much sounds the same. It's like the same cookie cutter type of like, yep. they just use the same mold, yep. you know, like same mode of like turn up or same mode for like hip hop pop that's coming out. Yep. Like, yep. and so this is like, I feel like it just meshes everything in. Like, mm. um, I'm, you know, my roots are in hip hop, so I, I'm going to have that. But I know my limits and I know where I exceed yeah. or excel. Yeah. So, you know, and I just I stay in my lane. Yeah. On the way to 